Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to talk about internet developments known as Web 2.0. Defining exactly what is meant by Web 2 is about as difficult as nailing a jelly to a wall. That said, most people agree that Web 2 involves making new and improved forms of online connection between two or more people, between two or more online services, or between individual users and software applications. Identifying these three types of connection also enables us to isolate the three key aspects of Web 2 as being interpersonal computing, web services, and software as a service. Interpersonal computing is about using online technology to connect people to each other in social networks or business teams. The key interpersonal computing aspects of Web 2 are therefore things like social networking sites, wikis, blogs, and online video. Examples of these include Facebook and MySpace for social networking, Wikipedia, blog creation sites like Blogger, and video hosts including Kaltura and YouTube. All of these sites allow anybody to add as well as to access content, to leave messages and comments, and to exchange digital media including photographs and video. Web services are components of online functionality that can be plugged together like a kind of digital Lego in order to create an integrated online offering or mashup. For example, many companies use the web service of a payment service provider such as WorldPay or PayPal in order to allow them to easily take credit card payments online. This results in customers interacting with two organisations that are automatically interlinked via the internet. As another common example, web services are also frequently mashed together to integrate a map and related data from one website into another. For example, the property website Rightmove integrates local information from About My Place, which in turn obtains its maps from Microsoft Virtual Earth. And as a third simple illustration, anybody can cut and paste a YouTube video embed link to create a web page which is drawing content from two sources, and with YouTube here providing the web service of video hosting. The final key aspect of Web 2 is Software as a Service, or SAAS. This involves application functionality being offered directly over the internet. In turn, user data and applications can then be accessed from any internet-enabled computing device. For some years, human resources and project management applications have been successfully offered over the internet by companies including employees and Clarism. However, Online replacements for personal desktop applications are now also available. For example, Google Docs is an online word processing, spreadsheet and presentation package available for free over the web. As an alternative, Zoho also offers a Microsoft Office compatible set of online applications together with tools for project management and other business functions. As yet another example, Juice has launched a free online desktop that also enables people to access their files from anywhere and to share them with others. Many people are still dismissing Web 2 as the latest marketing hype. However, this is probably only because they are unaware of the online service and application delivery aspects and are hence mistaking the concept as being about no more than teenage social networking. However, in terms of both business and computing, over the next few years, 
Web 2 is likely to change the ways in which many companies will link together, as well as the means by which many of us will access our data and software applications. Not least, the purchase and installation of expensive standalone software is likely to reduce substantially, and in turn this will impact on existing key industry players like Microsoft. As Google and other Web2 pioneers have shown, a new business model is becoming possible. This involves providing basic applications and services for free, and then charging a small minority of users for service support, customization or association. One challenge ahead is to see how robust and more broadly applicable this Web2 business model may be. As Web2 takes hold, many companies will need to alter their online strategy. The old Web1 business model was based around building a great website and just hoping that people would pay a visit. However, in the Web2 age, it is known where most people go when they first log on, and this is to Web2 sites such as MySpace, Facebook or YouTube. Inhabiting these magnet cyber locations where customers are known to be, rather than just expecting people to pay a company's own website a visit, therefore has to become a key online strategy. Hopefully, this video has given you an improved understanding of Web2 and its implications. For more information, please see the Web2 pages of explainingcomputers.com. So that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.